I've scoured the internet and I've found 21 hot upgrades for trail and MTB riding that I'm going to show you. Starting with these crew cut socks from Socks Footwear. So they're a decent length, which means you're not going to get stones into the socks. There's a breathable mesh to so help you stay cool. Um, there's a reinforced toe and heel section, and they're available in three sizes. There's over 250 designs to choose from. They're super comfortable, stylish, and these French ones are my favorite. They're guaranteed to get your discount on your baguettes in Morzine. Cool, so this is Pirelli's EMTB S bike tire. It's a super aggressive tire specifically for e-bikes. They've got what they call a hyperwall casing, which is a very strong EMTB specific casing with flat and rim protection. Some of the technology in this tire is from Pirelli Motocross. They've also got a pretty fancy compound called Smart Grip Gravity which has um, soft rubber but with tear resistant qualities so the knobblies don't just like peel off. Um, it is an all-weather tire which is works designed to work in mixed loose or soft soil conditions. They also use a single compound throughout the tire which means you're going to get longer tire life and performance out of it. It's available in a 27.5 or 2.9 in a 2.6 width. The weights are 13.30 for a 29er and it works well on the front or rear. The corner grip on this thing is crazy and the braking bite is excellent. My tip with this tire is it seats so well you actually don't need much sealant. So the knees are a very complicated joint and something worth looking after. This is Liet's Airflex Ultralight Knee Guard. Ideal for long rides on warm days. It's super slim and lightweight with high rise sock grippers so they sit underneath your shorts. The air mesh breathes well. It's, got, it's made from a moisture wicking material and it has a very thin layer of protection which means it's great for XC riders brushing up on their skills or some of those backcountry, downcountry missions you might, might want to be on. The tip with this one is run the gripper at the bottom quite high up your calf, that way it doesn't pull the knee pad down as you ride. So on bike storage is all the rage these days. This is Pro's Smart Bottle Cage. It's adjustable left, right or center pull, fits all bikes, stores things like CO2 cartridges, small pumps and tire levers. Also it has mounting points for a pouch, a little box that you can carry more stuff in. It integrates with Pro's mini tool which is a super cool little mini tool has all the allen keys you'll need out on the trail has all the goodies you need for tubeless repair all the essential tools you'll ever need it actually also has storage space for your plugs and it slides into the cage right here bontrager rally shoes available in an olive green or this black it's a soft synthetic leather upper abrasion resistant heel and a beefy toe cap area Shock absorbing EVA make them super comfortable to walk in and it's a simple lace and loop closure system. There's a jagged siped tread pattern underneath with long channels for cleats. It's light enough for long missions, plenty of protection here and an incredibly comfortable shoe. My tip with this one is if you're riding more gravity orientated stuff, slide those cleats all the way back. If you're looking for more control on steep trails, you might want to try a high riser bar. This is the Race Face Next R. It's a 35 mil rise. It's also available in a 10 or 20 millimeter rise. They're 800 millimeters wide. They've got a five degree up sweep and an eight degree back sweep. They only weigh 215 grams and this is the 35 mil clamp. So Race Face have used a super strong unidirectional carbon layer up here. There's a slight bit of flex for comfort and to dampen the trail vibrations. It's very bling indeed puts you into an aggressive riding position and just a tip on bar width a lot of people are riding bars that are too wide don't be scared to trim your bars down it might help you especially on the bikes these days that are getting longer and longer in reach right super wallet friendly rock shocks revelation fork it's a totally underrated fork in my opinion it's got rebound and low speed compression it has a highly tunable air spring uh, you can 
add or subtract your tokens to change your ramp up in the fork and it's super easy to set up. It's available in a 27.5 or 2.9 in 120, 130, 140, 150 and 160 travel options. It's also a short offset fork, works, way, works well on the modern bikes um, and this is, uh, can be used on an EMTB or an analog bike. This is the kind of fork you can run for a decade and you can have my word on that. It outperforms its base level price points incredibly. It also comes with a free mud guard, which is pretty cool. So just a tip on this fork, keep it serviced. Just drop those lowers out, keep it serviced, get a bike store to do it for you. It's not expensive, but it really increases the performance and longevity of this fork. All right, this is the Maxxis Forecaster that sits in that down country and light trail range. It's suitable for bikes in the 120 to 140 millimeter range. It's a 945 gram tire in a dual, and this is the dual compound version. So basically it's got softer shoulder knobs and harder center tread. This exo casing has densely woven fabric in the sidewalls. It's a beast up front or on the rear. It's one of those fit and forget kind of tires that suits just about every trail condition. So hydration is key if you want to stay sharp and focused on the trails. This is Evox Hydro Pro 1.5, which is a super lightweight backpack with a 1.5 liter bladder. It's got two nutrition pockets in the front, a zippered pocket in the front and a zip pocket in the rear. It's a body hugging design, so it doesn't flop around when you're pinning trails. It's super well ventilated with a strong and flexible material. So this is a small hydration pack. There's a lot of storage space in it and it's a high quality finish. My tip for hydrating for a big day out, drink a liter of fluid in the hour before your ride starts. So if you're looking to invest in head and brain protection, this is Liet's Trail 3.0 helmet. It's a down country light trail or mini E application and has a very steezy design. Um, it's got this power bridge design from Liet, which is a unique in molded absorber, which runs across the top of the helmet here. It also has rubberized eyewear docking ports so your glasses don't fly off when you're running them up on top of your lid. The padding on the inside is super soft with moisture wicking properties and there's big intake and exhaust vents. The, from a protection point of view, the technology is what's called Liet's 360 turbine technology. It actually is featured in all of the helmets and it reduces peak brain rotation. Um, it's these blue little rubber inserts that you can see on the inside of the helmet and this is how it works. It helps in an impact, it actually helps your head move around uh, inside the helmet to absorb all the directions and impacts that are associated with concussions. It's a pretty smart investment. So about 10 years ago, Bontrager were one of the first to market with big volume, lightweight trail tires, which actually changed the way we can ride bikes. This is their new XR5. It's a 29 by 2.6, weighs 970 grams, and has a super... and has a super aggressive tread pattern, which is suitable for front and rear use. It's known as a slow wearing tire. It's very strong and grippy in all conditions. It has a broad base of applications, including hardtail trail, enduro and e-bikes. My tip for this tire, if you think 2.6 is a bit wide for you, but you're riding lots of loose over hard pack trail, give it a try. The extra contact patch will give you a lot more traction. This is the E13 Helix Plus 12 speed cassette. It's got a small nine tooth to 50 tooth spread, which has a huge range of 556%. It's a very durable cassette, weighs only 406 grams. Because it's so light, it will help the suspension work better on your bike and there'll be marginally better acceleration too. The small gear means you can run a smaller chain ring on the front, which gives you extra clearance over obstacles. And this unique two piece design saves cash down the line when you're replacing part of it. So more speed comes from your confidence in your ability to stop. This is SRAM's all new, no nonsense DB8 brakes. The lever feel is exactly the same as their code brakes and it has almost the same stopping power. The big difference is it uses mineral oil which improves service intervals. It's a super low maintenance brake. The kicker is it's about half the price of the codes. It's definitely a performance upgrade worth considering. 
And my tip on brakes relates to the tilt of your brake levers. If you're riding a lot of steep trail, you want to tilt those brake levers up a bit. It actually helps you get your weight a little bit further back on the bike. This is Zips 3.0 carbon wheels, which have moved away from the traditional box design. It's a single wall design, which has ankle compliance or a little bit of lateral deflection built into the wheel. The bonus with that is really two things. In rock gardens, you don't get pinged about as much and there's better grip through corners because the rim is actually flexing slightly on the spoke. The other neat feature is that the hub has 132 points of engagement, so your response is super quick as you come out of the corners and get on the gas. They're available as a complete wheel set or rim only, and they definitely calm down rowdy trails. Thule Velospace XT, it's a tow bar mounted bike carrier, super long for the long wheelbase trail and e-bikes we're riding these days. Also very strong, it's e-bike certified. It has torque limiter knobs, that prevent you from over tightening on your frame. There's lock functions for each bike and a lock function that locks the rack to the tow bar. There's also a tilt pedal right here so you can still get access to the boot when the bikes are on. And it has super wide wheel holders so the big 2.5, 2.6 tires slot straight in there. It can also be adapted to carry three bikes. Laser Churu, you're getting top end performance here without breaking the credit card. It's got extended rear coverage and 15 large vents for cooling. Getting the right fit on helmets is key. And what Laser have done is they've made this height adjustable. So the shell is actually height adjustable. They've also got a tension adjust, which runs around the entire circumference, which eliminates any hotspots. Classic styling available in eight colors. Wheel aficionados love the DT Swiss brand and for good reason. These are the DT Swiss 350s. They've got a patented free hub system that uses star ratchets that distribute the loads across a larger contact surface. The big Swiss secret here is the incredible rolling speed you get out of DT Swiss hubs. Their design and bearing technology mitigates the clamping force of the wheel mounting system, allowing you to roll faster. It's available in a classic, or straight pull design. These are highly sought after hubs and a lack of finish to a performance machine. This is the Maxxis Asagai designed by the GOAT himself. It's a go-to gravity tire. They run a 323 tread design. There's good directional grip and also channel grip, which eases the transition into corners. It excels in most conditions except absolute slop fests. It's available in a variety of sizes, casings, and compounds. This is the soft compound and DH casing. It's robust, you can run super soft pressures, it's suitable for big trails, EMTBs, and gravity stuff. My tip for this one, you might wanna consider the Exo Plus casing, which is a more pedal-friendly version. Right, the Liet 4.0 bib liner, the range topping bib liners from the South African brand cross compatible with any Liat gear. It's made from a high-tech Italian four-way stretch material. It has moisture wicking qualities too. The chamois is designed for all-day riding. It's got two leg pockets, three back pockets, and a large cargo pocket for horizontal bladders. The legs are a little shorter, which allows space for knee pads, and there's also a horizontal fly design. Super comfortable and functional bib. My tip with these bibs, always wash your Lycra and your gloves separately in the wash cycle. So flat pedals are great for building your corner speed, working on your technique and developing an overall feel for your bike. These are the new Crank Brothers Stamp Flat Pedal Lace Shoes. Ideal for trail, EMTB, enduro or downhill. Got a very sticky rubber and there's low rebound properties inside the sole here to help dampen the trail chatter. The tread pattern is great for off the bike and pedal grip. I like the simple lace closure system that's got a little pocket here to tuck in after you've tightened the laces. They're available in a size 5 to 14 US. The styling and comfort is off the charts. If you're pinning trails, eye protection is super important. Plus you need lens technology to amplify trail detail. These are Melon's Alley Cat. They have a Zeiss lens for optical precision. There's in fact six lens options when you're purchasing. I recommend Photochromics. They quickly adapt to changing or dappled light. This uh, Alicat has a large rubber nose, so the lens sits a little further from your face. 
Uh, they also have rubberized contact points so that don't fly off your face when you're pinning it. Um, this is currently my favorite pair of eyewear. That's all the gear, now you have an idea. Look forward to seeing you on the trails this year. So this one you're not throwing at me, right? Okay. <laughs> and I've found you 21 hot upgrades in our trail. Currently, I'm loving these trails on the... Currently... 